to the big one. Stamford Bridge, Rafa Benitez takes charge of Chelsea against Roberto Mancini, Man City, fresh off Champions League exit. Well, I mean, it's just an incredible situation here. Two of Europe's top sides, without without question, the defending Champions League uh, holders, of course, Chelsea out, almost certainly out, City out. This now game takes on a, a totally different perspective, doesn't it, Flash? Huge game. Benitez is there as well, but City need to get their season back on track. So I think it's a fascinating game. These games between the top sides are so difficult to call. Punters do wade in on all kinds of markets as well. But I just look at the, the one player here who has been very, very good in this fixture over the years is Man City's Carlos Tevez. He's scored six goals in his last, last six games against Chelsea. He could be the key man here to break Benitez's heart and put Chelsea really under pressure. Butler, we want a prize from Man City. Well, I tell you what, I can't believe the price this market. 13 to 8 Chelsea, very, very short to me. This is a club they are going to have a big backlash there. I think the fans will turn against Benitez. First time under his reign, Abramovich. Abramovich is under a bit of pressure as well. They're not happy there. And the 13 to 8 is a terrible, terrible bet. The stats tell you Chelsea will do really well. They've only lost twice in the last 15 games in this fixture. But Man City and 9 to 5, the champions, looking good. 5-0 the weekend. Forget the Champions League draw. It's all about the Premier League now for them. They can concentrate on defending their title they're back in the range 9-5 to five, definitely a bat for me 12-5 to five the draw but if I was a bookie sporting bet or all sitting there I'd be laying Chelsea at 13-8 to eight. I would say come and have a go I'll be the best price I just can't have them what about goals, though, Russ? We're looking at got to be goals, surely. Well, 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 the last 18 months, Flash, when these top sides have played each other, I mean, I'd always be under under goals and 1-0, uh, 1-1. It's just completely off the radar now. We get 6-2s, 8-1s. You just do not know what's going to happen when these t kind of teams play each other. You've got to be the over the goals, haven't you, surely? Because simply because too many quality offensive players out there, who knows what kind of condition and what state either side will be in. Chelsea have shown defensive frailty. So have Man City this year. I mean, it, it, you've got to be over, and I think that's the way to play it. It could be a terrific game, this one. It could be really volatile. I think we could play over two and a half. We may be better off playing over three and a half in this one. I think that's it. Over three and a half. Chelsea depleted with uh, decent defenders. And obviously, companies not expected to play for Man City neither. So we want to be maybe over three and a half, Butler. Definitely. Look at all the stats. 21 goals in the last six games between these two sides. It was 3-2 in the cup at Chelsea. Chelsea lost 3-2. Man City won the game. And it's all about over two and a half goals. 13 to 20, under two and a half goals. 13 to 20, over two and a half. I've got a little bit short. Bookies are predicting goals over three and a half, six to four. You'd usually get five to two for your money. But I'll tell you what, go over four and a half as well. I think that could be a better round about three to one. But definitely goals. Under two and a half is 13 to 10. And over one and a half for your odds on punters is definitely going to be two. Ten to, two to 11 for that. But it's all about goals. And I think it's all about Man City's goals. OK, so we're looking at first goal scorer, Russ. Yeah, I've already said at the top of the piece here, Flash, it's Tevez for me. Six from six against uh, Chelsea in the last six games. Obviously, terrific record against these guys. And we're slightly erring on the side of City, aren't we? I'll be with Carlos all day long here. OK, Butler, Tevez all the way. Well, if he's picked, that's the thing. He hasn't made Zeko playing him in week. Aguero's a certainty to play. 6-1 to one, Aguero. Torres 15-2. to two. Will he play after the weekend? Team news is vital, but it's one thing it won't be. No goal scorer is no option for me. Matter 10, 11-1 Hazard. But Aguero tips the market at 6-1. to one.